Cake muffins with Aaron McCool from Start This Morning. I always think, oh, I just wish there was some place I could drive through that's healthy. Well, there you <laughs> Start huh? is totally the place. You have yeah. two locations? We do. We've been all open almost four years on Greenville wow. Avenue. Wow. So, um, yeah. And we've been open on Lemon for uh, just a little over a year. Okay. So we're making carrot cake muffins with reduced fat cream cheese frosting. Um, oh, reduced fat. You're you killing. won't even know. Taste it. Taste you it. You will taste not it. know. It tastes like the real deal. <laughs> Um, and we sell them without frosting too. And in fact, all of our kids' menus, uh, they get a free carrot cake muffin. Thanks. Oh, cute. Okay, so just really quick, what we're going to use is whole wheat flour, which I've already put in there. Okay. And if you want to put all these dry ingredients yeah. in there and whisk them together, we've got organic sugar, we have cinnamon, nutmeg, baking soda, and baking powder, and okay. a little sea salt. And then, Tim, if you want to do these wet ingredients, I'll even help oh, you. We've okay. got freshly grated carrots. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got crushed pineapple that you mostly drain. Am I going to throw the eggs in there? Yes, you are. Really? Yep. And then applesauce, raisins, uh, buttermilk, and mm -hmm. then you can dump that oil in there. Okay. And then you can squeeze some uh, honey and some uh, lemon juice in there. Go ahead okay. and squeeze maybe about an eighth of a cup. On the oil, you can use canola oil, you can use sunflower oil, okay. you can use coconut oil, whatever you like. That's great. That's perfect. And then go ahead and you can mix that up with this. Right. And the reason I do these separately yeah. is so that you don't over mix the batter. You want your muffin oh, okay. or your cupcake to be really fluffy and not dense. And once you bring these things two together, you, you just don't want to over mix it because then it keeps it light. Okay. So once that's Makes done, sense. then you just put it together. You can create like a little well in here. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of cookbooks say that. <laughs> and then you throw that in there. That's and, a fancy way to do it. <laughs> yep. And then all you're going to do is stir this until the ingredients are just blended so that there's okay. no powder. And as soon as that's done, you're done. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And that's what you stick in the muffin tins then? You do. You okay. spray that and mm -hmm. then you're going to bake that at 350 for about 15 to 18 minutes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now what about the frosting? Uh, okay. Because it supposedly is guilt free and I need a little guilt in my life. I know. I, I'm, I didn't say guilt free, right? I said reduced fat. Oh, okay. <laughs> so not totally. So we, we use powdered sugar and you I sift it in here like this. Mm -hmm. And I already put the cream cheese in there, which is, uh, oh, I don't yeah. know how to pronounce it, Newfield, that, that, that N word. It's a uh, reduced fat cream cheese, not necessarily right. low fat. And then you're going to blend that together with a little um, vanilla, and you'll blend it for about three minutes until it's really light and fluffy. And then you're going to throw it in a bag like this, and I know you love frosting <laughs> cupcakes. <laughs> then you're going to frost these babies. Yeah, baby. Yeah, okay. And, and this is the carrot cake, but you can do this with other things as exactly. well, right? Exactly. So you can just swap out a few ingredients and have a whole different cake. Yeah. So over here, I actually brought you guys some zucchini cupcakes that I made at home. Oh. Instead really? of whole wheat flour, I used uh, whole wheat pastry flour, which is a little lighter, it doesn't have the, the grains in it, Okay. some poppy seeds, some fresh lemon, and then for the frosting, I use mascarpone cheese instead of cream cheese, okay. and then you've got, oh, and then of course, freshly grated zucchini. Okay. All Take right. out the spices. So it's that easy. Yeah. And just, just put some lemon. Mix it up. So Lauren, this one is for you. Oh, here. Oh. And this one is for me. I give you one. <laughs> Wait a second. I want the other one. I bet it'll still taste good. <laughs> I have a feeling. You can find this recipe and a link to start on our website, fox4news.com. Thank you, Erin. Thank you for having me. We'll be right back.